All right, Shalom. First things first, we want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Brachat the Yahweh, Brachat the Yahweh Shai. We give double honors to the apostles and the elders, which are the apostles and elders that rule a great millstone, that have diligently done the work and have keep doing the work. And to you hopeful elect out there, wherever you may be, we're at the end. Keep faith and, and, and stay strong. And Lord willing, the Most High seal the elect wherever they may be so we may go home. All right, I just wanted to do a quick lesson see how the time goes but uh because right now the most high is preparing he's preparing stuff for us right right in front of our face man he's preparing he's preparing the kingdom because he said the kingdom of he heaven is within you so the men that are being built up the men that are being uh sealed day by day that's the kingdom of heaven the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third of yasharala that's going to be the, the the uh higher echelon okay that's what he wants to build the, the kingdom with. The Lord willing would be a part of that number, but that's what the Lord is building now, and he's given us this truth. And he's given us the way to come back to him, which is because how will we how will we join unto the most high? Through the law, statutes, and commandments that he gave unto us in Mount uh with to Moses when we were in the wilderness. Okay, as he gave that unto us, that's how we're joined unto him. So he's given it to us back. He's given this glorious truth to us again. So we may join and call upon his name. That's why you got to call upon his name. God saying that don't use the name. They're going off, man. Okay. So we're going to jump right into it. This is the this is the verse I wanted to bring out. And we're going to read this and then get some precepts and uh, just go into it. This is the book of Isaiah 25 and verse 6. It says, In this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees. Of fat things full of marrow, of wines, on the lees, well refined. Okay? And that, that wine in, in, is speaking about this truth. Okay? It's also called water. It's also called uh, uh, milk. It's called many things in the Bible. But it, it, it's relating this food. Because what does food do? It, it, what does food do? It nourishes you. So that's the same thing of this truth is happening now. It's nourishing us. And the Most High is the one that's preparing. Just like he said in Ezekiel 37, he said to tell them that I'm doing these things. Because Yahweh Bashim is the one that put us in punishment, and he's the one that's taking us out. So let's go into some of these words. Because some people be like, all oh, people? No, it's not. That's why you have to go into these words. And um, it says, shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people. Now you see all people here, you think, oh yeah, that's everybody. Everybody can make it. Everybody can come up on this mountain. No, it's not. And it says, um, uh, uh, um, um, okay. And it says, nation, people, people, nation, persons, member of one's people, one's people, uh, cap, caparuts, countrymen. Let me look this word up. It says, compatriot. Okay, let's just let's just play it. Compatriot. Okay, it won't play it, but it says a fellow citizen or na uh, national or national of a country. Let's see here. Fellow countrymen. Fellow countrywoman, countrymen, fellow citizen. All right, so it's not speaking about everybody. Compatriot, and it says countrymen, kinsmen, kindred of the same people. So the Yahbashim Yahshua is not preparing this this uh, meal for any other nation. When it says people right there, it's speaking about fellow citizens. Fellow citizens of what? Israel. That's why you have to look up these words, man. All people, you would think, oh yeah, all people. No, it's saying all people of countrymen, kinsmen, con uh, uh, compatriot. And it says, a feast. Let's look up that word feast. Compatriot. Yeah, they just played it. <laughs> Computer a little slow, man, but... Compatriot, okay?
and it says mash um, masha ta masha ta and it says feast drink banquet feast banquet drink okay so the most high is preparing a banquet it's a spiritual banquet all right we're gonna have a physical banquet in the kingdom we're gonna have a physical feast in the kingdom but right now it's speaking about a spiritual banquet that we're that the most high is preparing and it says a feast of fat things feast of wines of on the lees Look this up real quick. And you see that leaves right there, it goes into the choice wine, the best wine. Just like when Yahweh turned water into wine, the, the, the head of the table said, you, some men bring out the best wine first and the, the bad wine last. But, but you bring out the, 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 the bad wine first and the best wine last. Okay? So when that, that this wine right here, when it says feast on the leaves, leaves dregs the best wine, man. Okay, it's part of the best wine, the strong wine. That's why right now this truth is so it's it's concentrated strength, man. It's coming out so abundantly, and it's so the Most High is revealing the dark sands, the 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 the, the tangible things is coming out in the last days. Cause the men of the Lord they received these prophecies and received these things, but didn't understand them. Now the Most High is letting it out in this time, and it's coming out concentrated. It. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard to understand. And if you if you if you're caught up by it, you you'll you'll fall out of this thing, or you'll stumble at the word, man, because it's coming out heavy. The Most High is revealing all understanding right now, or He's revealing the large part of the understanding we need in these last days. And it says, "A full of marrow, wine on the leaves, full of marrow, and that marrow's choice meat, that that like the the shoulder, the fatted part of the of the of the meat, man." That's what the Most High is allowing us to, to take part in. And it says, a, full, a fat things full of marrow, wines on the leaves, well refined. Let's go to this well refined right here. It says, Zakwa Ak. Zakwa Ak. And it says, to purify, distill, strain refine to purify distill strain refine to purge refine to refine purify let's go right here let's look it up refine to remove impurities or unwanted elements from a substance Typically as part of an industrial process. So the Most High is refining this thing, man. He's giving us that, un uh, he's, he's cutting the fat out of this thing. And he's giving us that pure knowledge by way of the elders and the apostles, man. That's how he's giving us this, this truth now. He's refining it. He's making it better. So now I'm going to go through and read some of these scripts, some of these precepts. And I'm going to close out. I'm going to read them in the Bible and you, you brothers can look it up or pull it up and look into some of these words, man, because it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful script, man. All right. This is the book of um, Isaiah 2 and 2 to get understanding on that mountain. This is the book of Isaiah 2 and 2. And it says, and it shall come to pass in the last days, which we're living in now. It says, it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow in unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of, uh, of, of Yasharala, Jacob, 
and he will teach us of his ways and we will make in the in his paths for out of zion shall go forth the law and the word of the lord from jerusalem because when the kingdom is set up man we're going to have dominion and rulership over the planet earth and these nations are going to have to learn of our laws and our ways they're going to have to go into the, uh, our ways man they're not going to follow anything else there ain't going to be no more transgenderism there ain't going to be no more homosexuality no more pedophilia none of those wicked things that this 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 world this current world invests in so these other nations they're going to come up come up man they're, that's why it says our gates shall never be closed because they're going to bring tributes man they're going the kingdom of heaven is going to constantly be flooded with uh, uh tributes and different fine things man spices all types of things we don't know of man and then let me get this real quick this is the book of psalms this is Psalm 78 and verse 68. This is Psalm 78 and verse 68. And it reads, I started 67. Moreover, he refused the, uh, ta uh, the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the table of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces like the earth which he hath established forever he chose david also his servant and took him from the sheepfold from following the ewes great and young he brought him to feed jacob his people and israel his inheritance so he fed them according to the integrities of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands so the most high the main point was in the mountain man Cause hey, he's going at the end, all Israel is going to come unto this thing again, okay? But he's speaking. He went to David and he, he established them. That's the same thing that's coming because David's going to come back and rule. And Yahweh Shai came out of that lineage of David, okay? So let me get this real quick. And it says, this is the book of um, this is Psalm seventy-two. And verse 14 Psalm 72 and verse 14 and it reads he shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence and and, and precious shall their blood be in his sight that's why it says uh, we're the uh, apple of his eye because Yahweh Shem is going to redeem us and he's going to cherish us again as, as he once did and he's going to do it forever we're not going to go off no more and, and fall by the wayside and it's verse 15, and it says, He shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Prayer, prayer also, it says, Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be, pra uh, be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they shall, and day of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth and his name shall endure forever his name shall be continued as long as the sun and men shall be blessed in him all nations shall call him blessed blessed be the lord power the power of yasharala who only doth wondrous things who only doth wondrous things doeth wondrous things and blessed be the glorious name forever that's why we praise yahweh shim yahweh and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Aman, Aman. All right. So we're coming to the time where the Most High is establishing his his, his words, man. And he's giving he's giving his his name praise, man. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, Barakat to Yahweh, Barakat to Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and much love to you, hopeful elect. Shalom.